AV system decides to step up and you know build tools to, that can reduce bar barriers for adoption of the LWM 2M protocol. The first thing we want to mention here is the our LWM 2M client SDK called Anj. It's an open source library with compatible with the C99 standard. Uh, there is a support for with full compliance with LWM 2M version 1.1 of the protocol. Multiple sub hardware architectures are supported, as well as multiple operating systems and multiple cryptographic libraries. And if you start using it, uh, there is a very easy migration because the API is unified from the free version to commercial version. Uh, the second thing is that if you want to start building an application, you want to play with it while you develop it. So for so the client is not enough. You you need a server because you want to see how you are progressing. You want to see if things are if you are setting them in the device. Are you able to track them on the server side? And if you are able to send commands from the server, are you able to change things in your device? So to facilitate this, we are also announcing a launch of our free Try Anj platform. If you want to use it for to to help you building and testing your your application all you need to do is just register with your email under this link and we will send you automatically link that will give you access to the service and this access is, is for lifetime and finally uh, if you are we are also announcing uh, an open source embed os client based on the our angie library uh, so if you think about using embed os as your iot platform then it might be a, a good starting point for you. We, at the moment, we provide the integration with the STM32 L4 board. There are many sensors available on this board. Uh, if you if you start if you start by, by by using this integration, you get the network layer adaptation between Anj and the, and the underlying uh, network drivers out of the box. You are able to understand the hardware abstraction that are part of the inter in interaction between the NJ library and the sensors. And thanks to this, you, you will be able to, to, to better understand it and how to, it will be easier for you to play with the sensors. And uh, there are more resources from us to come in the coming weeks. So please stay tuned. And we are also looking for, for questions and, and the request that you might want to have that can help us all build a proper ecosystem around LWM to M protocol. Uh, where does lightweight M to M as a technology end and AV system begin? Or in other words, can you say some more words about your offerings? We have, you know, this product portfolio of three, three main products that, that we are offering around our IoT solutions that are heavily focused around LWM to M. One is the library, the client side that I already explained, Anjay. One is, is openly open source available as part of the op our op open source portfolio. If you need to have some more sophisticated solutions uh, like compliance with 1.1 uh, version protocol of LWM2M and non-IP data delivery support, uh, probably some more sophisticated security features. This is part of our commercial offering. And then we have also the, the system for device management and monitoring. We called it Coyote, Coyote, Coyote DM. Uh, from there, you can monitor and manage your devices. You can execute over the air updates. Uh, you can see how your system is working. This is the system that allows you to do whatever you want with, in terms of device management and data monitoring. And then our third offering is the extension to this DM. We call it Coyote DO, data orchestration. It provides integration with uh, additional third-party systems so that, and then also integration with our DM so that you can, based on this enriched data sets, uh, provide some analytics tools that will help you uh, make more informed business decisions to, to develop your IoT system.